Hey, Kevin Craft, this is Katie, all the lost ones here again, making a video response that I'm not even sure you see these, but I make them anyway, because um, whenever you bring these stories to my attention, it makes me go, what? There are people in this world like that? And then that's just my initial reaction. My eyes get really big, and I'm like, what is going on here? But so, my reaction to this is the same. Like, this is why I keep saying we need Facebook rehab for people like her. And she should have, you were right, she should have given her baby to social services. Because killing your three month old, because you can't check your Facebook, you know, in peace and quiet, or I don't even know her reasoning in doing this. I mean, there really is no reason. Like, her reason probably, well, this guy was probably, was texting me and, he said I should get on there because he was going to send me some, some fuel points so I was going to be able to harvest my crops a little faster. And I, I couldn't miss that opportunity because my, my crops, they really only had a few seconds to live. And, you know, I know it's imaginary, but I just, I can't, I can't just, I can't get away from Facebook. It's, it's so important, you know, like really. How is Facebook so important that you you kill your three-month-old? Like. Where are people's priorities? Obviously, people in this world, their IQ levels and things about them are going like this. You know, just when you think things could be going like this, and we're getting smarter, we're getting smarter, we're going like this. Because of people like that, we're going down. Um, I just can't believe it. I really, literally can't believe it. Like, I mean, there's just, there's just no reason. You know what I mean? No reason to kill your child because you're on Facebook. Like, there's no reason to kill your child ever. But, really? Did you really do that? Did you really do that just now? Did you really, did you really smash your kid into, like, the computer or whatever? Because you are upset that they're crying. Well, wake up, you dumbass. <laughs> you have a baby. Babies cry. Made way, way, way more important than the computer. When your baby cries, you go help your baby. You screwed some guy. You got pregnant. You had a child. You take care of it. Point blank. If you feel like you can't take care of it, give it to somebody who will. You know, give it to the government. You know, social services. Say, I can't take care of this child because I'm too obsessed with Facebook because I am some crack-headed dumbass who can't do anything right, and you need to take this baby. That's what she should have done. Or given the baby up for adoption if, you know, Facebook was become, going to become that important to her. Instead of taking that child's life, you know, and I always think of these kids that die, or the people that die, what if those are the people that could cure cancer? What if those people had the answers, like, to end world hunger? What if these people were the people who are going to change our lives? This is I know it sounds kind of extreme, like, uh, well, they probably couldn't do that, and why do you think that? Well, how do you know? How do you know that her baby wasn't the baby that was going to, like, cure cancer or something? Like, really? She totally screwed that one up, you know? I'm just, oh, my God, Kevin, this is crazy. But thank you for bringing it to my attention that the world is still one insane pile of crazy. And you have a wonderful night, and take care, and I will always watch your channel. I've been subscribed to you since, like, when you had, like, no subscribers at all. So, I'm very proud of you. Have a great day. Much love to you and your family. Have a good night.